Hey guys, it's Kaylee. It's been about like a month since I've updated you on what's been going on with my life. So a few new things. One, I have found my dress. I found my wedding dress. I said yes to the dress. And also I have been actively looking for wedding venues, but I need your guys' help on this. So I'm gonna go over each of the wedding venues with you. And I want like your honest opinions on where you actually feel like you could envision me being because I'm having a hard time choosing. There's so many good ones that I'm like envisioning myself in each one. And I'm like two in my head and I can't figure it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know down in the comments which wedding venue is your favorite after hearing about each one. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First off, I wanted to say a huge thank you to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. I am wearing my new favorite glasses from Amelia E. These are the Amelia E. Louisa in tortoise blue. They are like square shaped. I don't think I've had ones in a while that are this small and square, but I feel very studious. I seriously love the hint of blue. Like I'll have to do a close up for you guys so you can truly see how beautiful these glasses are. If you guys don't already know, glassesusa.com is one of the biggest retailers for glasses in the United States. They offer thousands of eyeglasses ranging from Ray-Ban to Gucci, but also in-house styles, which are my personal favorite because they're very affordable like these from Amelia E. And I also have two new sunglasses that I got because I've been spending a lot of time out on the pool. So these are Amelia E. Hepburn. And actually it blocks out the sun really well, which is exactly what I need here in Florida because that sun can be real strong. And then this is a Tato Ambassador, which I like because it's a little different, sort of like that aviator style where it's more like circular and big. These are my favorite right now. Like I literally can't stop wearing them. I feel like I'm staring at the computer screen all the time, but these have blue light lenses. You can get them in all the glasses and it'll protect your eyes and also help to prevent headaches too. Um, so if you're like me and you're always on a budget, <laughs> I feel like it's like a never ending, I'm always on a budget. Their glasses do start at around $39 a pair, which is a pretty good steal. What I love so much is the AR virtual try-on tool. I use it every single time I'm shopping on glassesusa.com because what it, what it does is you go to your favorite pair of glasses that you're interested in and you can click on the button and it'll immediately like bring up your face and put the filter of the glasses on your face. And you can even move your head around too to see how it looks in different angles. And it is accurate. I can tell you guys that because I have ordered so many times and every time the glasses look exactly the way I expected them to from using that tool. For whatever reason, you get a pair of glasses that you don't end up liking. They do have free shipping and returns with an 100% money back guarantee. Just for you guys, and for a limited time, glassesusa.com is offering a crazy discount on top of the coupon codes that they already have. So all you have to do is click on that link down below to find out more information. It is only available for 24 hours, guys, so definitely click on the link. Go find yourself a pair of really cute glasses and they last years. Okay, moving on to my life updates. I will first start out with the wedding dress. I, I'm going to, like I filmed the whole thing, by the way. So I filmed every single dress and my reaction and then me in the, in the one, when it's pretty obvious when you see that. It's, I feel like it's obvious. It just is so different than the rest. And just the way it looks on me and you can tell the way that I feel about it, it I knew. I knew and I filmed the whole thing. I will release that video probably I'm not sure actually, I gotta think about it because I don't know if I want you guys to see my wedding dress before the wedding day, but the issue is that my wedding day is until like April of next year. So I have like a long time before then. And what I might do is just show you all of them, but not tell you which one I ended up picking and I'll upload it that way. But either way, I went to, I think only three stores total. And I thought for sure it was gonna take me a while to find my wedding dress because I'm, I have a set idea of the style that I want, definitely. But I just thought I wouldn't be able to get it as quickly as I did. And it also turns out that the one that I ended up picking isn't exactly what I intended to go in for. So I went to this one place that had the dress that I've been eyeing for like months. And you know, the exact style that I want is basically like mermaid, with lots of floral and lace. I like the sweetheart neckline, the off the shoulder, the really tight to the body, kind of, I do like also a see-through uh, torso area. Um, and 
then I like it to kind of come out like a mermaid, you know, like a mermaid tail at the bottom with a long train, lace on the train. I wanted lace on my um, veil as well, like a little lace coming up the trim and then all on the bottom. And I wanted the, <laughs> this is very specific, I wanted the veil to be longer than the train. And this one dress had everything that I wanted, but when I went in to try it, it just didn't look right on me. It really didn't. I don't know if it's just my body type or something, but it looks so good on the model, like my exact dress, but then like I could envision myself in that dress getting married. But then when I tried it on, it was like a hell to the no. Like I really, I really, really didn't like it. I tried on another one that was similar, was kind of iffy about it. Um, and then another one that was just like way off. <laughs> then I went to the second store and I saw this one on the mannequin when I very first walked in and we went through after we picked out the one on the mannequin because I saw it and I was like, that, I need to try that on. We took it off the mannequin, we ran, went around, picked up a few others, but the one that he had me try on first was the one on the mannequin. And as soon as I tried it on, I never felt this way about a dress before. Literally, I have never felt so beautiful in my life. I have never thought I looked so good in a dress before and felt like something was so meant for me. I'm like, I think I had said, this is the one, like this is it. <laughs> He's like, do you even wanna try on any other dresses? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'm already here, um, let's do it. I started trying on the other dresses and I'm, I'm just thinking to myself like, I just wanna put the other one back on. Like these are nothing compared to the one that I just had on. I then went to a third store like a few days later just to make sure that that really was the one and that I didn't feel that way about anything else. And every dress that I tried on was like, no, 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 not fitting me right. I hate the way my stomach looks. I hate the way this looks. It's just, I didn't have that same feeling. So I knew I'm like, that's the one. I called him back up. I'm like, let's set up an appointment. Let's get me fitted and everything sized, uh, get everything right, like with the veil and the train. I needed to put more lace applique, so I ordered more of that. I said yes to the dress, and I am so happy. It is exactly what I envisioned myself in. It wasn't the dress that I had picked out online that I thought I was gonna be in, but it's very, very similar. When you guys see it, you're gonna be like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> It's so perfect. I can't even explain it. Just. Like, I truly feel that I just have never looked that, that good before in anything. That that was definitely the one. So I'm so happy I found it. It was a little out of my budget, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's, it's for one day only. I want to be happy in what I'm wearing. And like I said, I didn't feel any other way in anything else. So I was willing to go a little bit more out of my budget to, to get it. I felt like it was worth it. As for the wedding venue, guys, I have been just like stressing so hard, both of us, because we each have this idea, which is similar. We have the same idea, but we can't find that one venue that has everything that we are wanting. So let me explain to you first. We wanna get married outside. Vegetation, you know, like trees or flowers or like water, grass, like some type of like earthy vibes outside, like a beautiful scenic view. I don't wanna just get married on a lawn, you know what I'm saying? Like there has to be something else, maybe like a waterfall or the oceans behind us, you know? There has to be a beautiful scenic view or even gardens. We were looking at a lot of different like museums or gardens. Then the issue is, is for the reception, we wanna do it inside. It is Florida, hot weather pretty much all year round the last thing we want is for us but also for our guests to be sweating their asses off during a reception trying to dance on the dance floor and you're just soaking through all your clothes because it's so goddamn hot right i don't want my wedding day to be miserable like that i need so badly and we want so badly like a ballroom a big like not cathedral, but like a just a big ballroom with really tall ceilings. I want windows that are like from the floor to the ceiling pretty much so I can see, you know, outside and I don't feel so closed in. I want good lighting. I like chandeliers because I feel like I'm in a fairy tale, like a princess. I want, if possible, no carpet and like a hardwood floor um, and enough space to fit. We want about 150 guests, so it's kind of a big wedding. And it's been very, very hard to get that 
reception part down because what I feel like is I've seen so many beautiful wedding venues that have the outdoor ceremony exactly how I want it to look but then they don't have an indoor reception yeah that's it it's just you're eating outside and I get it you can make it look pretty with like lighting or maybe you could set up a tent but I need air conditioning. I really, I really do. And I just feel like a tent looks tacky. To me, personally, I want a ballroom. Like, I want to feel like I'm a princess. You know what I mean? So, we even juggled with the idea of maybe having a ceremony outside where we want it, but then going to a reception somewhere else. That would cost so much because no one really just gives you the ceremony outside and then you don't have to pay for anything else. Like it, It's like a package deal, like it comes together. So it's been hard. But basically the ones we're looking at right now, I'll throw up pictures and videos of, of the ones that we've seen. Um, the first one that we saw was, I think it was the Addison. So if any of you live in South Florida, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and you've probably been to like three weddings there already. But that is a very popular place and what I love about it is it's got like that really beautiful, rustic, like Italian kind of feel. You feel like you're transported into another country, in another world. <laughs> like you don't feel like you're in the middle of Florida. And, and I like that feel because I think it would be really cool for pictures. There's so many different photo opportunities there, um, different rooms that you can be in. And I love the outdoor ceremony area with the two humongous trees. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I do feel like 150 guests is going to be hard to fit. She did say that we could fit 150 in that small area, but I feel like it's going to be really tight. The ballroom area where they have the reception, is the, the ceiling is lower than the ceiling in my room right now. Like it's, it, <laughs> I feel like I could reach my hand up there and touch it. It makes the room feel very enclosed because there's no windows. The other issue is that it costs more than we were willing to spend for the venue itself. So it is out of our budget by like 10K. Oh, I forgot. First actually is we saw Rusty Pelican. They have a wedding venue upstairs. Like, so it's in Biscayne Bay. They have the beautiful restaurant area, which I love and we'll probably have our rehearsal dinner there. But up top on the second floor is like a humongous ballroom. Like when I first saw it, I actually teared up because it was so beautiful and huge. And I know our 150 guests are gonna feel great in there. The views are beautiful. Like you can see the city of Miami with uh, the water and the boats and it's just such a beautiful view. However, the area where you get married on the patio terrace just doesn't feel like what I what I want <laughs> like yes I want to be outdoors but I don't want to have that like canopy ceiling thing over me I just feel like it doesn't like it looks cheap you know and even if I was to put lights on it it just I don't like the way that it looks the there was a lot of boats out there they were all playing music so loud can we control that like is there any type of way that you can like tell them to turn it down or something or have the coast guard come through and be like turn off your music someone's getting married she said no we don't have any control over that so that could be a potential issue when I'm trying to be in the middle of getting married the most important day of my life and people are playing like I don't know 50 cent in the back on the boat and I'm like I can't I just can't have that it's literally right on the water with boats and docks and everything there is nowhere to take pictures absolutely nowhere to take pictures except that terrace that you're at maybe down by like the restaurant by the people sitting and eating I, there's nowhere to take good pictures then we went to see Deer Creek now this is our both of our favorites right now this seems like the one that we're going to choose if we don't find anything else or if we don't have like another alternative but this is the closest to what we both wanted where you have a beautiful scenery with the waterfall this is at a country club actually so there's like a golf course on the other end and um a little tight but i think we could make it work i love like the the stone on the ground i love that like i can't i don't know exactly what it's called but it has like these three pillars and there's like vines growing on it and then they have a beautiful room for the cocktail which is actually pretty big and spacious and chandeliers the tall ceilings and then you go into the ballroom area which is literally huge like i, I like the ceiling is up to the heavens <laughs> the windows are all throughout the whole thing from the the floor to the ceiling and um 
it's it's perfect it's literally the ballroom of my dreams with the chandeliers amazing lighting enough room for everyone also pricing is affordable for us it is right directly on our budget versus everyone else is like a little over and the addison was like way over but this one for our budget is perfect we love that they also said that we will have golf carts that we can ride around the golf course at night or when the sun is setting so we can get really good pictures and they have beautiful trees there, like huge, beautiful trees. And we can get um, pictures by a bridge as well. So lots of good photo opportunities. Um, the only issue is that for the, the ceremony portion, there may be a few people sitting outside on the little like deck area eating because it is a country club for golfers and they have outdoor, outdoor seating for the restaurant. So that some people might be looking on and watching us having the ceremony, but the lady told us like they won't bother you. You know, they're very quiet, like they'll keep to themselves. You know, like it's a nice golf country club with like older people, so they're not gonna bother us. I deleted everything off my SD card before I filmed that I could possibly delete. And um, I filled it all up because I filmed two videos today and my other SD card is in the garage. And I don't have the garage key because Ryan took it to work. So we're filming the outro here on my iPhone in my little chair. If any of you guys have any ideas for places, let me know. Or, you know, somewhere where I can have that like gorgeous outdoor scenery for the ceremony and then the ballroom idea for the reception. That's really what I wanted. And we also don't want to drive too far away from South Florida because that's where all of our friends and family are. Um, well, my family is all in the Chicago area, but my friends are all here and his friends and family are all here, so it just makes sense to not do it too, too far away. Like I was considering maybe Key West, but I don't know, I, I don't think I wanna drive that far. We can't do a destination wedding because we have way too many people involved and we're not gonna fly everybody out. <laughs> like we knew we didn't wanna do an intimate wedding. We definitely want it to be big. We need to figure this out sooner rather than later. And we've been struggling with this. So I appreciate your help. Once again, thank you so much to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys and I love working with you. Definitely pick up some glasses, guys. I'm not kidding. All you have to do is click on that link down below to find out more information. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.